Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a picture in letters effect in Camtasia 9. Alright, so I was playing around as usual on Camtasia, and I figured out how to do this really cool pictures in letters effect and it's gonna be really cool for like music videos, really creative type projects, vlogs, that type of thing. And I'm actually gonna be doing this on a future music video for Arete. So let me show you how to do this. I've got a test media here and you wanna head over to annotations and you want to use this one right here which is a shape with some text on it. Now that's going to be important for this little tutorial here. So I'm going to drag it down and we're going to reverse the colors. So I'm going to just put, I'll put Arit's name. And I want to change the colors. So I actually want the font to be white. And then I want the shape to be black. So I'm going to change this to black and then I'm going to space it out here and I'm going to make it the shape of the entire box here. And then I'm going to enlarge the font. I'm going to go maximum volume, which is 500, but I want a really thick fat font. That's how this is going to look good is if you have a really thick font. So I actually downloaded a nice wide font and I'm gonna use this one. So 500 is the largest size of font that you can go. If you try and go above that, it's gonna say something like, please enter a number between one and 500. So that kind of sucks because you can only go 500, which is the maximum. So make sure that you have downloaded a very nice thick font so that this this feature will look good. That's the only downside to this tip is there's a limitation on font size. So I chose this really big font and I downloaded it. There's another tutorial on this on how to get specific new fonts that aren't already in Camtasia because if I were to use a font like this, like one that's really skinny and small, it's not gonna work out. So I'm gonna go back to that font or was it? This one's actually pretty wide too. Let's use this one. This one's called Roland. All right, so I'm just gonna stretch this out just a little bit just for the purpose of this video. Now, here's where the cool part happens. You wanna head over to Visual Effects. You wanna go to Remove a Color, and you're going to be using the green screen effect, but you don't have any green screen stuff. We didn't film in front of a green screen, but you can still do some cool stuff with it. So I'm going to remove the color, choose that one, drag it down here, and then from here you want to head over and you want to use the little dropper thingy and you want to click on the white and it's going to remove the white and you're like, oh no, what happened? Doesn't look good. Well, you actually want to place a video behind that by placing it on the bottom. So I'm going to take this video and I'm going to put it at the bottom of this and I'm just going to lower the volume just a little bit because it might be too loud. But as you can see, Arit here is already peeking through and I'm going to enlarge this so that it fits on the screen and I can even move her down a bit. So as you can see, you're already getting kind of a cool effect. Now, I want to fix the edges a little bit because there was a little bit of a white happening. I don't know if you guys can see it on the video, but I'm going to head back to the text, scroll all the way down to the bottom where it was remove a color, and under tolerance, I'm going to raise that. And as you can see, it's going to disappear. And then the softness, you can just play around with that. Uh, 
I'll raise it up a little bit more. Okay, and then I'll just play it a little bit for you so you guys can see the cool effect. This is Areet's latest cover that she did. It's called Champion, originally sung by Carrie Underwood. Alright, so that was just a little bit of a test of the video there. Um, I'm going to just stretch this out so you can see the full thing. So as you can see, it's a pretty cool effect when you have a video behind some text. Now, you can change this text to whatever you want. I just have it as Arit's name. But you can get really creative and put like just like a scenic background if you want. You don't actually have to have like a person behind it. It can just be a cool scenery effect. That is also really cool. You can also do something like making it a lot smaller. Oops, I moved that. Hold on one second. Making it a lot smaller and then just fitting only part of it right here. So that looks cool as well. And I was just playing around and I found out how to do this. I was wondering if I could do this at first and then it kind of just came to me, okay, let's do the green screen effect, remove the color of the letters on a black background, and then place a video behind it. So that is how you do a video in letters effect. Now you can get really creative with this, you can do some really cool things, use some really cool words, have more than just one word in the middle, you can have a bunch of words in small text and big text sky's the limit with this kind of thing so i encourage you guys to try it out on your videos so if i was able to help you out at all please let me know by giving this video a like a comment or subscribe all that would be very much appreciated so if you like this video head down to the description below as i have links for you guys for free camtasia tutorials and the link to camtasia to check out yourself all right guys well thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Back from the dead.